And we are back for game two of the doubleheader here from Wet Hall of uh, Miami basketball here today. Now the men's game tipping off just past 3.30 Eastern time here from the campus of Miami University in Oxford, Ohio. It'll feature the Northern Illinois Huskies and the Miami Red Hawks, both in the Mid-American Conference. Patrick Eschen with you back on Red Hawk Radio. Appreciate you spending a part of your Saturday afternoon with us before NFL kickoff, of course. All right, so this game, Northern Illinois, five and nine overall. They're two and two in the back coming in. They've won two of their past three, six in the conference, one loss in front of Miami and Eastern Michigan are the Huskies. As far as Miami goes, they're eight and eight overall, two and three in the back coming into our game this afternoon. The Red Hawks are tied for seventh in the conference with Eastern Michigan with that two and three MAC record coming into our game here today. The Red Hawks have lost three of their past four. They're five and four on their home court. Miami coming off an 86-63 loss to Ohio on Tuesday on this home floor. It was an abysmal game for the Red Hawks a few days ago here inside Millette. They want to redeem themselves here this afternoon against the Huskies team in a winnable game. NIU coming off a 92-83 loss to Bowling Green on Tuesday. That was at home in DeKalb, Illinois. Red Hawks are commanding the all-time series 32 and 19 all-time. Miami's won three in a row against the NIU Huskies. They're 23 and four in Oxford. The last time they met, 69-64, the win for the Red Hawks in DeKalb, Illinois. That was back on February 20th, 2021. Miami, Northern Illinois, game two of the doubleheader, men's basketball. Let's go to our starting lineups in the public address here inside Millet Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to Millet Hall for this afternoon's matchup between the Northern Illinois Huskies and your Miami Red Hawks. And now, let's make this afternoon's starting lineups, beginning with the visiting Huskies of Northern Illinois. Wearing number one, Trenton Henderson. Number two, Peter Gordon. Wearing number 13, Adon McCoy. Number 24, Bakushi Hunter. And number 50, Anthony Hunter. The Husky assistants are Greek Lanskin, Sweet Wishes, and Tony Berkman, the head coach of the Northern Illinois, Mr. Sean Burnham. and the Huskies in terms of starters in our game this afternoon. Northern Illinois will start like we heard. Trenton Hankerson, Caleb Thornton, Don McCoy, Darweshi Hunter, and Anthony Crump. Red Hawks go with Makai Larry, Dede Grant, Precious Hyatt, Delonte Brown, Mai J. White, the starting five for the Red Hawks. NIU is wearing red uniforms. They have black numbers, black names on the back, and a black Huskies lettering across the front with a black number on the front as well. Red Hawks. The home whites with the red number on the back, red Miami across the front at the top, and the red number on the front as well for the Red Hawks. 
Miami moves right to left across your radio here in our first half of play from Millette Hall at Oxford, Ohio. And again, mention the recent success Miami's had against Northern Illinois. Red Hawks 32 and 19 all time in the series. They've won three in a row. And the Red Hawks 29 and four in Oxford, Ohio against the Huskies of NIU. Huskies trying to ride that consistent momentum they've had the last few games, winning two of their last three into this one this afternoon. Red Hawks would like to snap their recent streak of losing. They've fallen in three of their past four. So, our tip at half court will feature Adam McCoy of NIU with Miami's Delonte Brown, both players wearing number 13. Brown at 6'7", McCoy at 6'9". 20 minutes on the clock, the game is on from Oxford. The Red Hawks control the opening tip as Brown leapt up and timed it the best. Get Larry with the ball here, far side is Delonte Brown, up top of the key, precious eye for the Red Hawks. As Miami setting up again, losing that game their last time out against Ohio on Tuesday, 86-63. Right side of the post, Precious Eye working, gets under the hoop and lays it in for two with the right arm off the glass. 2-0 Red Hawks, 25 seconds in. Caleb Thornton for NIU takes it over the timeline here on the left wing. Pass to the far side, outside the arc, Darweshi Hunter, top of the key with it, Caleb Thornton for the Huskies. Thornton left side dribble, beats it far away for Darweshi Hunter. Thornton back with the top of the key. Huskies coming off the loss against Bowling Green. Thornton on the red carpet rolled out for him to drive down the right side. But right there to block it was Precious Eye. Good job with the right arm. He was the only guy back for the Red Hawks. Miami back up the floor. Larry, a jumper from 10 feet away on the right wing, misses. The rebound pops out to Anthony Crump. NIU with it. Near corner offensive end, they work at top of the key. Crump gets to the left elbow, hits the brakes, works it back out. They hand off there to Darweshi Hunter. Now top of the key is Trenton Hankerson. For NIU, they have 12 to shoot. Hankerson hands off to Weshi Hunter. Top of the key with a right-handed dribble. Hunter hits the brakes. Near wing Thornton, five on the shot clock. Thornton right elbow. Barrels his way through the middle of the paint. Red Hawks strip it away. White near wing pass. Dana Grant to the rack. His shot short on the left side of the post. But a foul whistle to here as Dana Grant will head to the line with a pair of shots for Miami. He's with 18.32 to go here in the first half. Dana Grant slow to get up there, a little bit shaken up, but he will head to the free throw line and shoot some shots. A few dribbles here, first one for Dana Grant is good. Make it three, nothing Miami, there's 18.32 to go in the first half, Grant 85.7% free throw shooter of the year coming into the game today. In a second, misses short rebound. Pops out to NIU, it's McCoy who got it. Hands off here to Caleb Thornton for the Huskies. Plays it to the near wing, outside the arc, Trenton Hankerson. Passes up top, Caleb Thornton with the ball for NIU. Around the arc of the right wing, pass to the right elbow for McCoy. Thornton shoots it off for three, it's good. Top of the key, Caleb Thornton, a 32.5% three-point shooter on the year. Ties this one up, three apiece. We are two minutes in from Millette Hall. IJ White gets it top of the key for Precious Eye around the arc to the near wing. Makai Larry, who's 21 points away from 1,000 in his career, feeds it far away. Long range three, missed by Grant, too much on it. Precious Eye corrals the rebound for the Red Hawks, left side of the paint, and then he tried to pass it out to Delonte Brown. But Precious Eye there traveled. Before the pass went off, they blow the play dead. The ball back to the Huskies with 17 49 remaining here in the first. Three apiece is the score. Look for it. Takes the ball over the timeline right away for NIU. Right-handed dribble here for Thornton at half court. Around the arc, he'll go left wing. Get it to the right side. Outside the arc, Crump through the Mac logo with the paint. Flew it off the window too hard. It pops out of bounds to the baseline. Tipped off of Crump. Who's trying to reach for the shot that missed. Red Hawks get it here. And here, two minutes and 28 seconds into our opening half. Three apiece to score. Larry over the timeline, right wing for the Red Hawks. Passes near side for Dana Grant, outside the arc of the left wing. Makes his way around the arc. Grant on the right side of the paint, flew it off the glass and in for two. And he beat the guard who was all over him, Trenton Hankerson, the 6'2 senior. 5'3 Miami, Larry 
Guarding here on the far wing, Darwessi Hunter with the ball for NIU. Gets it top of the key for Caleb Thornton. Thornton near side, it's a Hankerson, three, good, nothing but net. And the Huskies in the three ball working here. They have their first lead of the afternoon at six to five. Top of the key, Brown, near wing, Dede Grant holds on with both arms. High left elbow with the ball for the Red Hawks. Dishes out, top of the key, Larry. Here went Grant in the corner, pulls up for a jumper. Too much on that, rebound pops in the hands of McCoy for NIU, they're up the floor. Right wing, Hankerson over the timeline, hit the brakes to the far wing for Darweshi Hunter. Spins around left elbow with a shot, beautiful finish there, Darweshi Hunter gets it to go. From the left elbow, could get a complete 360 in midair and fired it in for two. Eight to five, NIU. White with the ball outside the arc of the right wing, finds Delonte Brown. Up top of the key now for Makai Larry. Works his way around the arc right side. Cross court look near wing. Three ball white. No more. Too much on that. Yeah, Brown that worked under the hoop to get the offensive rebound and he'll fire it for two. On the right arm, Brown gets it to go. Eight to seven in IU. We're four minutes into the first half. There's Hunter with the top of the key for the Huskies. Dishes back to McCoy. Near wing is Hankerson in the near corner. Caleb Thornton holds on to the ball. Gets a screen look at a three and Thornton sinks it. 11 to seven, the Huskies in this game so far are three for three from outside the arc. Top of the key, Larry for the Red Hawks. Works it around the arc near wing. He will fire a two-handed cross court pass to the far corner. Grant finds eye in the paint near corner feed to Myjay White. He trips up with 10 to shoot. Gets it out top of the key to Makai Larry. Larry right side drive, pulls up right elbow shot. Too much on that with five to shoot. And the Huskies work it up the other way at the left wing. Here's Caleb Thornton over the timeline. It's the breaks up high left side. Thornton the red carpet rolled out, but his layup with a wide open lane to the hoop was no good. It bounced around in the hoop a few times and then fell back. 11 to seven NIU with 14.55 to go. Fast paced first half. Far wing with it is Precious Sia. Back up top of the key to Mikhail Larry. Now it's White for Miami. And the offensive end, 11 on the shot clock. Got a feed down low to Brown. He copped it up. A football fight for it. They fumble in front of the NIU bench. And the Huskies bench going nuts right now. They can see this play happening right in front of them. They call a jump ball. And NIU has the possession arrow. They get the ball when we come back here to Millette Hall. 11 to seven, the lead for the NIU Huskies. They are up by four in the Miami Red Hawks. Early on here in the game, two of the doubleheader. 14.43 to go in the first half, and this is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
14.43 left here in our first stop from Millette Hall in Oxford, Ohio. It is an 11-7 lead for the Huskies of Northern Illinois over the Miami Redhawks. Coming out of our first media timeout of the game here. So the ball is going to be inbounded here for NIU and the Huskies will take it out of their own end over the timeline on the right way. Caleb Thorson and pass it off for Zul Ketch. Far side now is Trenton Hankerson. Top of the key, Thornton, far away, wide open three. Good. Trenton Hankerson for NIU sinks it, and the Huskies are four for four from three point land to start the game. They're up 14 to seven on Miami. Eli McNamara in the game for the Red Hawks. Top of the key holds on, gets the pass to Isaiah Coleman Lands. Near wing Grant, wide open three, too far right. Ball is tipped around, grabbed here by NIU. It's Thornton with it for the timeline of the left wing. Thornton top of the key with the ball, right handed dribble, right elbow, kicks out a pass, left wing Queth with a three ball, too far left. Rebound of the Red Hawks, so that's the first missed three in the game for NIU. IJ White with a top to key for the Red Hawks over on the right side. Coleman lands, dishes far corner, Brown into the paint, the pass missed Grant, but it went to McNamara, so a lucky break there. McNamara back to the hoop, left elbow, spin around, hook shot, left arm, missed it. Rebound, Keyshawn Williams, fast break in IU. Williams, left side of the paint, drive, floater shot, three feet away, no good, Okano right there, though, to clean it up with a finish on the right side of the post, off the window for two. And it's 16 to seven, NIU with 13-20 left here in the first half. Coleman Lance the near wing for Delonte Brown, top of the key, McNamara holds on for the Red Hawks. Hands off to Adek Grant, guns a pass to the post, that was broken up, intended for McNamara. And Keth holds on here for NIU, the pass back to Keyshawn Williams. Williams on the timeline right wing, passes left wing, Caleb Thornton back for Williams, right side, outside the arch. Gets the feed down low, O'Connor working here, the jumper over the hoop from the baseline area on McNamara with the ball brown for the Miami. Passes over the timeline here on the left wing, Coleman Lance near side, it is Latte Brown, wide open lane and a two-handed jam as he charged in from the corner along the baseline of the rack. Defensive miscue there for NIU, it's 16 to nine, Huskies. Moment and a half to go in the first. Hankerson steps away, wide open three. Good, Trenton Hankerson for NIU answers. He is three for three from three point land today. Coleman Lance over the Red Hawks. Timeline here on the right wing. Hands it off to Myjay White, top of the key with it, McNamara. Dana Grant with 20 to shoot for the Red Hawks, top of the key with the ball. Grant feeds it over right wing. Myjay White, the bounce to the far corner. Brown holds on with both arms. Waits patiently here in the yard. Brown, body position here, working on Quet. Brown, patience, floats it up with the right arm, too strong. NIU with the rebound, here's Kahn, back the other way. Gives it up to Thornton, now a pass, Quet, three ball. Missed it short. Back to the rebound for the Red Hawks, passes off to Coleman Lands over the timeline here on the right wing. Coleman Lands feeds it in your wing, outside the arc, they give and go with Brown. It is Grant to the right side of the Paint, McNamara, left-handed dribble, try to spin around, get a shot off, but a whistle for a foul before that. It looks like they got Kingsley Okanu for NIU. That's gonna be the team's second foul. Okanu's first here for NIU in our opening half. 11.32 was left in our first half, 19-9. NIU, the 10-point lead over the Miami Red Hawks. And this is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
11.32 is left here in our first half. 19 to 9, the lead for the Northern Illinois Huskies over the Miami Red Hawks. Patrick Etchin with you back on Red Hawk Radio inside the Led Hall in Oxford, Ohio. It's been an NIU three point ball that's been a difference in the game so far. They are 5 for 7 from outside the arc in this game. Red Hawks inbound for their offensive end. Far side of the timeout. Coleman Lance, top of the key from Akai Larry. Makes his way right elbow, kicks it out. Coleman Lance, long range three, popped in and out of the hoop. And the Huskies return down the floor with the ball after the missed three pointer there by the Red Hawks. Keyshawn Williams over the timeline on the left wing. Kicks it over far side. Thornton to Williams, what a pass! As Thornton was outside the arc, fed it to Williams who went and snuck down the right wing, got to the hoop, kind of an alley-oop look there. Williams caught it with two hands and then floated it in the hoop behind the Red Hawk defense. 21 to nine, NIU. And a similar case for the Red Hawks is that Ohio game, they're down big early. Three ball, missed short from the corner, near wing by Kamari Williams. For the Red Hawks, Williams up the floor for NIU, that's Keyshawn Williams. And his jumper misses from 10 feet away on the near wing, rebound to Miami. It's Larry over the timeline here on the right wing. Makes his way to the rack and he shut down. A foul whistle here is very hard to the floor. He had a couple of players come in there to block it. One of them was O'Connor. The other one was Zion Russell in the area. So I'm not officially sure who got that foul for NIU. It's a 5-0 run for the Huskies in the last two minutes and seven seconds. In the last six minutes at 46 seconds, the Huskies on an 18-4 run. First shot by Larry at the free throw line is good. He is one of two. Larry's made 26 free throws in a row, by the way. They did get Zion Russell for that foul for NIU. So Larry has another shot here with 10.32 to go in the first. That's good, Makai 27, straight from the line. So here come the Huskies. It is now a 10 point lead for NIU at 21 to 11 here in the halfway point here of our first half. Far wing outside the arc, Keyshawn Williams, pass to the near wing for Zion Russell. Ankerson with it, right wing outside the arc, gets it to Zul Queth. Far side, Huskies work, Williams with it here. Left handed dribble outside the arc, 10 to shoot. Williams, far side, jumper, too hard there. And Williams down with it for the Red Hawks. Left wing feed, Larry over the timeline here. Top of the key, open three, Coleman lands. Too far left, rebound though, tipped out by Williams. They work it down low with Precious Aya. Right side of the post is fouled. An amazing job there by Miami. Williams tipped the pass, or the rebound out to Makai Larry outside the arc in the left wing. In a snap of a finger, Larry got it to the right side of the post for Bresh Isaiah, and then he went up for the shot and was fouled. Two shots at the line here for Bresh Isaiah. The first one is good. 9.58 to go here in the first. Bresh Isaiah is a 70% free throw shooter on the year. Deshaun Williams returns to the game here for NIU. Second free throw, too hard by Precious Eye. Kicks out to the near wing, Huskies on it. And the rebound after the miss. It's high on Russell over the timeline on the right wing. 9.50 left, first half. 21 to 12, NIU leads it. Williams top of the key for the Huskies. 14 to shoot. Williams left handed dribble, being patient. Needs it far away. Huskies working here, down low, Hankerson in the corner, it turns it up high. McCoy, near wing, here's Russell, through the paint. Blocked there by Aya, went out of bounds. It's gonna stay with the Huskies, but Aya, an amazing block with the right arm, knocked it free on the shot attempt there. And it went out, the Huskies have one on the shot clock here. And they're gonna inbound it far side of their baseline on the offensive end of the floor, Russell will toss it in against Williams. Russell gets it out far side, not enough time there for a shot. He found it open, trended Hankerson, but before he could release it, the one second shot clock expired. 9.27 to go in the first half. 21 to 12 NIU over Miami. It's Miami with the ball here on offense. Over the timeline, middle of the floor is Makai Larry with it. Larry the right-handed dribble around the arc. Gets it near your way, Coleman Lance holds it above his head. 
Near side, precious side, works at the baseline. Puck fake up and under move, he's fouled. Never got the shot off, but Precious Sai has more shots coming at the line. And his little Queth picks up his first, and NIU's fifth foul as a team here in the first half with 9 10 to go in it. Red Hawks have not committed a foul yet. And two shots here for Precious Sai. Too hard of the first one for Precious. A 21 to 12 game led by the NIU Huskies. Next one, too far right by Aya. He goes over two at the line to strip. Huskies up the floor here on the right wing. It's Russell over the timeline. Beats it near wing outside the arc is Queth. Top of the key, McCoy. Far side, it's Williams. Top of the key, Hankerson. Pulls up left elbow. The shot good with 14 to shoot. <laughs> Ankerson left elbow jumper, 23-12 NIU. Larry over the timeline, middle of the floor. Top of the keeper, Coleman Lance. Holds on with his right arm. Trying to direct traffic here, drop a play. Williams with it near wing. Kamari Williams, the pass down low. Never reached Precious Aya, picked off by Ankerson. He's over the timeline, middle of the floor for NIU. Feeds it to the near corner for Williams. Cross court look, far side Russell. Steps in the arc and back out here on the left wing with 18 to shoot for NIU. He shot Williams, top of the key, far side Russell. Right handed dribble through the paint, coughed it up. Here comes Coleman Lands, left side pass, Larry to the rack, and the layup went over the hoop. Queth came away with it for NIU, Hankerson. Over the timeline here on the right wing for the Huskies. Far side, three ball wide open, too hard there from Queth. Rebound in the far corner, picked up by Coleman Lands. Inside eight minutes left here in the first half. 23-12, NIU. Here we feed from Akai Larry. He will get fouled trying to move his way into the hoop from Zion Russell. We get immediate timeout here as Russell gets his second personal of the first half. 7.51 left in the first. NIU 23, Miami 12. Immediate timeout here from Len Hall. We're back in a moment. This is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Seven fifty-one to go, first half here from Len Hall in Oxford, Ohio. Twenty-three to twelve, the NIU lead over Miami. Patrick Henson back to the inside. The gym here, a fairly well-attended game. The lower bowl on either side of the court has a good amount of people in it. 
There are a few groups of students here and there. There's Carolina drove down the right side of the paint to put it in for two. Off the glass with his right arm. Caleb Thornton for NIU. They're back on offense, 23-14, the Husky lead. Off the key, Caleb Thornton with the ball for NIU. Feeds it down low. Here's McCoy to the rack on the left side, and he's fouled from behind. Shot did not go for Don McCoy. And Brown is going to pick up his first. Miami's first as a team here, actually, in the foul department with 7.27 left in the first. And you will get McCoy here to shoot a pair of free throws for NIU. First one is up, and it is no good. Too hard. Don McCoy, a 6'9", 220 senior center from Edmonton, Alberta. He transferred from Daytona State College. Rare you see a Mac basketball player from Canada, let alone Alberta. Around the inbound at Coleman lands right side is Dana Grant over the timeline here on the right wing. Feeds it near side, Brown sidesteps a man trying to go after the three, feeds the far wing, Williams three ball, right side is good. And Jabari Williams makes it a 24-17 NIU lead with 7.06 to go in the first half. Thornton with it over the timeline on the right wing here for NIU. He's at top of the key to Norwegian Hunter. Hands off there, far side, Trenton Hankerson. Around the arc of the near wing, tosses back, top of the key, down low, left side of the paint, Huskies work. And a foul whistle here as McCoy trying to go up and under from the far side of the post. Precious Eye will pick it up for the Red Hawks for his first, the team's second, and free throws up coming at the line for Don McCoy. He has two shots here with 6.51 to go in the first half. First free throw by McCoy is good. Making an eight point NIU lead here. Boy started for the first time in three games against Bowling Green on Tuesday. He started again today here in Oxford for NIU. Second one good, 26-17, the Huskies lead it. Around the inbound here for Coleman Lance. Red Hawks trying to get on their own end. A little bit of a press for NIU and it coughs it up. Williams gave it right back to the Huskies down the right side of the post. Hunter with a shot, Williams there to block him. And Coleman Lance ends up with a loose ball as Williams using his 6'7 reach there to take away the opportunity from Darwessi Hunter, the 6'5 junior. Williams top of the key for the Red Hawks on offense. Near wing is Grant outside the arc here on the left side for the Red Hawks. Near wing, three ball, Brown too far right. This one will go out of bounds, out the baseline. Nobody could save it for the Red Hawks. 6.18 to go in the first, 26-17 NIU. Thornton over the timeline here on the right wing. Near side pass, Ankerson flew it up top of the key, got away there for Thornton who has to race back to grab it near the far sideline. Thornton able to track it down. With six to go here in the first half. Thornton right hand to dribble. Through the paint, left side. He will get a shot to go with the left arm off the glass for two. Brown was there guarding under the hoop. Flew it over him. 28-17 NIU. Here's Coleman Lance, right arm dribble. Top of the key for the Red Hawks. Far side feed for J.D. Grant. Top of the key, Aya. Near wing is Kamari Williams. Top of the key, back up top. Here is Coleman Lance. Far side, Grant down low, Aya, patience in the post, gets it off the window for two. And we get a timeout called by NIU, I believe. I don't know why they call that timeout, I guess a little bit of frustration there for Rashawn Bruno, their first year head coach. He was a former associate head coach at Arizona State the last many years. You can see this guy for sure getting a power five head coaching job at some point down the line. He was one of the Athletic Magazine's next 25 head coaches named in November 2020. Where's got the job here at NIU in his first season, but this guy's got the experience and the pedigree to elevate himself to the next level of head coaching. 5.28 is left here in the first half. NIU 28, Miami 19. That's the first time out used by either team in the game so far. So the Huskies have three left. The Red Hawks still with four. 
NIU the inbound here on their own baseline. Caleb Fortson will take it over the timeline of the left wing for NIU. He'll float it to the near side here for Trenton Hankerson. Far side with it is Thornton. Try to pass it across court, get picked off there by Williams. Red Hawks working up the floor. Here went Grant, left side, feeds it right wing. Williams takes it outside the arch in the corner. Up top, Coleman lands. Top of the key is Grant with five to go here in the first. Grant back up top, Precious Aya's gonna try a three and it's good. Precious Aya shaking his head as he runs backward to the defensive end of the floor. Aya's first three-pointer he's attempted all year and he makes it. Far side, Caleb Thornton for NIU. And here we pass Trenton Hankerson. Back to the far wing, Thornton outside the arc in the left wing. Near wing, Hankerson right side. He'll try a three ball. That is good for Trenton Hankerson. He is four for four from outside the arc of the game. Five for five from the field. 14 points to lead all scorers, Trenton Hankerson. 10 point NIU lead, top of the key, Miami with it. Coleman Lance charges down the left side of the paint, let it go in the hands of Dorweshi Hunter. NIU charges up the floor. Thornton over the timeline right wing, kicks into your corner, Hankerson three. Too far right, first one he's missed of the day. And the rebound goes out of bounds, headed back to the Red Hawks. As you will have Delonte Brown here to inbound it for Miami before NIU will send Thornton out. Bring back in Zul Queth. So Coleman lands for the Red Hawks over the timeline, middle of the floor. He's a near win for Dana Grant, holds it above his head. Far side Brown over there to Kamari Williams, 16 to shoot for the Red Hawks. High on top of the key, near wing is Dana Grant, whistle for a foul as he was trying to make his way to the corner down the left wing. And we get immediate timeout after that. 3.53 is left here in the first half. NIU up by 10 on the Miami Red Hawks. 31-21, we'll step aside for a moment. Back in a second, this is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Three fifty-three is left in our first half here from Len Hall in Oxford, Ohio. Patrick gets you with you. Thanks for spending a part of your Saturday afternoon with us here on Red Hawk Radio. Thirty-one twenty-one, the Northern Illinois Huskies over the Miami Red Hawks. Ten-point game. Now another timeout. We'll have free throws here as Danny Grant will shoot a pair. Trenton Hankerson got his first personal to send us to the timeout. First one by Grant is good.
31-22, Day Day in the game today with five points. And the next one goes in. So at 3.53 left first half, our score now at 31-23, Huskies. Ankerson over the timeline, middle of the floor for NIU. Hands off here for Williams. Far side is Queth. Far wing outside the arc, Darweshi Hunter with it. Top of the key, Ankerson holds on for the Huskies. Ankerson with both arms, takes it outside. At half court, Ankerson with it here, through the middle. Queth, right wing three, is too far left. We get a rebound foul here on the Huskies. As McCoy was the only one back in the area, he messed with Precious Aya as the two of them went for the rebound. And they say it's gonna be one and one free throws here. That's the Huskies' eighth team foul of the first half. So it is the single bonus here for the Red Hawks. And we'll shoot some free throws off. Precious Aya will shoot one and one here for Miami. First one's good for Aya. 31-24, Precious, the redshirt fifth year from Nigeria. Tonight with eight points. He can make it nine with a free throw, and he does. 31-25, NIU on top, 3.24 to go here in the first. He's with it near corner. Caleb Thornton over the timeline of the right wing. Right-handed dribble here for Thornton. As Larry works on him, past the near corner, Queth, right side of the paint is McCoy. Works here with the left-handed dribble, McCoy, Mack look with the paint, spins around, right-handed hook shot, missed it short. And the Huskies here are gonna turn it over to the baseline, trying to go after the rebound. As Queth got the rebound off the near side of the rim, but his right foot was out of bounds when he got the ball. So Miami will inbound it here. Near side of their baseline. They work it up the right wing. Precious side. Hands back for Dana Grant. Now it's Larry, top of the key. Inside three to go here in the first half. Larry, the right handed dribble. Hands it off there. Dana Grant around the arc. Inside and back out. Grant spin around right elbow. Gets off a jumper. That's an air ball short. And the Huskies will save it here from going out. Williams over the timeline to the right wing. Keyshawn Williams through the back logo. Pulls up for a jumper, but it's no good. They will not count, they say a foul was called here before the shot was off. Or I'm picking up what the referees are saying here, so it'll be an inbound here far side at the NIU offensive baseline, third foul is a team for the Red Hawks. Inbound goes right on the left side of the post to a layup there by Quet. he missed it short. Red Hawks with the rebound, they're over the timeline here on the left wing, Danny Grant. Top of the key for Aya, far side with it. Here's Makai Larry, cross court feed to the near side. By Jay White pulls up, jumper, good. From the near side of the baseline, about seven feet away. Thornton over the timeline on the right wing for NIU. He's guarded there by Makai Larry. Thornton outside the arc here on the near wing. Bounce pass, top of the key. Keyshawn Williams takes it around the arc, whistle for a foul. It's going to be on the Red Hawks. Right in front of their bench. Nene Grant, I believe, got it for Miami. So we get an inbound for NIU. That's the fourth team foul against the Red Hawks here in the first half. 201 is left in it. 31-27, NIU on top. You get the inbound here from Caleb Thornton, top of the key to McCoy. Back for Thornton, NIU standing here at half court. Ankerson, your wing outside the arc, drives the baseline right side, kicks it out far corner, whistle here. And is the player there for NIU with a pass that got the ball. Keyshawn Williams stepped out of bounds. Too close to the sideline there in the far corner. So the Red Hawks will inbound it here as Brown will find Larry in the middle of the floor. Larry's over the timeline on the right wing with 147 to go in the first half. Four point NIU lead. Near wing is Brown. Top of the key for Precious Sia. Turns his back to the hoop, still outside the arc. Gives it up near half court for Dana Grant. Works his way around the arc. Top of the key, Aya, back for Grant, 10 to shoot. Near wing is Larry, right-handed dribble, and his pass goes out of bounds. 
Trying to go back top of the key. It was three feet left of Day Day Grant. Red Hawks turn it over. Fifth. Or I'm sorry, it's the sixth turnover for the Red Hawks in the game. 123 left first half. Over the timeline left wing NIU that Storch and hands it off for Anthony Krupp down low baseline. Hankerson near corner Williams. He will shoot it right side. Good for Williams. On a pull up jumper 12 feet away. 110 to go in the first. NIU extends the lead 33 27. It stops the Red Hawks 6 0 run. Top of the key is Grant. One minute left in the first half. Near corner look. Brown three ball short. Down with the rebound there is Caleb Thornton. Over the timeline, middle of the floor. Near wing pass here, Keyshawn Williams. Gets to the baseline, floats it up and in for two with the right arm. Great play there by Williams to get it in. 35-27, NIU as Williams snuck up along the baseline near wing. 37 to go, first half. Top of the key is Makai Larry. Feeds it near side for Dana Grant. Holds on with both arms outside the arc of the near wing. Grant. Gets it to the near corner. Brown working. Top the key. Larry. Far wing white. Sidesteps the defender. Jumper off right on the arc. Missed it short. Rebound Krupp. 18 seconds left here in the first half. And the shot clock is off for NIU. Krupp feeds Thornton right at half court. Thornton stands with the ball held in both arms. Over to that far wing of the sideline. Thornton pulls up right elbow. Jumper too far left. Rebound right there is Krupp. To put it in the hoop and the buzzer. And it's halftime in Oxford. NIU 37-27 lead over the Miami Red Hawks by 10 points here at the halftime break. As a pure effort change there for the NIU Huskies in those last couple of minutes there of the first half. They were winning the battles in the post. They were working hard. They were getting things done in places where the Red Hawks could not. And NIU just fighting, battling, winning the physical plays. And that's been the difference here so far in the game as the Huskies take the 10 point lead into the half. The Red Hawks scoreless in the last two minutes and 19 seconds of that half as the Huskies on a 6-0 run. In the last 2:19 of the first half again to take that 10 point lead into the locker room. So for Miami, we saw some good moments of good plays, but there are still some unforced errors here and there. The physical battle obviously is the difference in this game that NIU has been winning over the Red Hawks. So we'll see what adjustments are made in the second half for both teams. 10 point NIU lead here at the half, 37-27 to score. And we will be back with you for second half action here in about 13 or 14 minutes from Millette Hall. Stay with us for that this halftime from Oxford and this is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
Coming back with you with the second half of our game this afternoon from Millet Hall in Oxford, Ohio. 37-27 Northern Illinois over Miami. As we start the final half of our doubleheader here today between men's and women's basketball at Miami University. The women's team falling to Western Michigan. Earlier today, Miami men trying to get at least something of this doubleheader at home for the Red Hawks here in this afternoon, but they trail by 10, gonna have to play from behind here in the second half. Red Hawks will inbound the ball near side of half court to get us going in the second half as the teams break their huddles following halftime. Miami will move left to right across your radio here in the second half. So the inbound goes to Mikhail Larry over the timeline, middle of the floor for the Red Hawks. The precious eye who tosses back for Delonte Brown. Larry left elbow with a jumper, and it's good. 12 seconds in, Red Hawks make it a 37-29 game. NIU on top over the timeline right wing comes Caleb Thornton. This is off far side, Hankerson, top of the key is Darweshi Hunter. On your side, here's Caleb Thornton, holds on to the ball for NIU, Thornton around the arc of the right wing. This is near side for Krupp, near corner with it. Thornton back for Krupp, drives his way through, the right arm finish good. On the left side of the post for Anthony Krupp, who now has four points of the game. Larry with it, top of the key for Miami. This is over on the far wing, Danny Grant on the ball here, finds my J. White, left side of the elbow, flew it off the glass, no good. Rebound far corner, picked up here by Krupp. Up the floor for NIU, Krupp with the timeline right wing. Dishes far corner, three ball, too strong. Wide open with Thornton. Offensive rebound though, that's grabbed here by McCoy. And he knocked over Precious Eye. The foul is on offense for NIU as McCoy picks it up. Knocked over Eye as McCoy turned his back to the hoop there. So the Red Hawks take it over the timeline here in the middle of the floor. It's Larry with it for Miami. This is far away. Precious Eye with it outside the arc. Gets it to the corner. You have Grant charging in at the baseline and he passes it out of bounds on the near side. Right out of bounds. Three feet left of the intended target. So Krupp tosses in here for NIU over to Caleb Thornton. Zoom over the timeline here, middle of the floor for NIU. Gets it far away in the corner with it. Here's Krupp. Tosses in there for McCoy. Far side, Krupp, three ball, too far right. McCoy ends up with it for NIU. Back for Krupp, who made another charge on Aya. Knocked him over in the post. This one headed back to the Red Hawks. Krupp got a feed coming down the right side, and he just threw it in. So the inbound, Duante Brown here to Kai Larry with 18.20 left in the second half. Larry's over the timeline on the right wing. Gives it up there for Brown. Top of the key is Dane Day Grant. Far side with it. MyJ White gets it up top of the key himself. Near wing is Larry. Outside the arc of the right wing. Whistle for a foul. All right. As he was making his way down the right side. 10 point lead for NIU. 18.07 left here in the second. Inbound will come near wing for the Red Hawks in their offensive end. It will be MyJ White to send it in. He'll toss it forward there, top of the key is Makai Larry on it for the Red Hawks. Larry's around the arc of the far wing, we'll still here for a foul. The inbound will come here on the far side of the floor in front of the Red Hawk bench. They get McCoy for a foul, it's his second personal coming into the game for NIU is Kingsley Okanu. Coming out is Don McCoy. You got White to win on here, far side in front of the Red Hawk bench. Finds Larry, top of the key. Over two minutes into our second half. Larry, top of the key, gets it down right elbow, dish down to the baseline. Aya works it out left wing, caught here by MyJ White, spun around inside the arc. Gets it near wing, Danny Grant through the paint, stops Mack logo, floats it in for two. 39-31, Huskies lead up by eight. And it's Thornton over the timeline of the right wing for NIU. This is back, Hankerson, Crump top of the key, feeds it near wing for Darwessi Hunter. Hunter around the arc of the right side, up top here for Caleb Thornton, 15 to shoot. Thornton the right-handed dribble. 
Around the arc of the near way, he'll toss it far corner, whistle for a foul. And this is gonna go on Larry for his first. It was away from the play as the ball movement there for the Huskies. Kind of causing the Red Hawks to mess up a little bit. Inbound far side of the baseline offensive end for NIU. Goes to the near corner. Here's Crump after Thornton tossed it in. 14 on the shot clock. Near wing is Hunter. Top of the key, Caleb Thornton holds on. Thornton on the right side. Larry got a screen. Thornton to the rack for two. And he pulled up there on Brown, who was right under the hoop. Thornton two feet away from the front of the hoop. Just kind of pulled up. A little two-handed shot. And it went in. Nothing but that. Larry over the timeline, middle of the floor for the Red Hawks. Around the arc here in the near wing. Larry back up top of the key, trying to do it by himself. Far away feed, Brown outside the arc, tipped away there off the hands of Crump. And you get far away, Grant now with it for the Red Hawks. He's down the right side. Grant got to the baseline, it was stripped away. Ball stolen away by Hankerson for NIU. No fire far away. Thornton over the timeline on the right side. Left handed dribble here for Thornton. Toss forward, free throw line jumper. It's too hard there for Mokano. And Larry will come down with the rebound here for the Red Hawks over the timeline on the left wing. Larry top of the key, the right handed dribble for Miami. It's a far side, grabbed here by Danny Grant. Outside the arc in the left wing with 15 to shoot. Grant far corner, works it left wing. Jumper Aya, too much on that. Thornton comes down with the rebound for the Huskies. Near wing pass here, Hunter hits the brakes. Outside the arc of the left wing, gets it top of the key for Caleb Thornton. 15.48 to go, second half, NIU up by 10. Thornton right wing outside the arc, he'll drive his way through, whistle for a foul down the left side of the paint, either Brown or I is gonna get this one for the Red Hawks. All right, Larry's gonna get his second. So 15.43 to go in the second. Larry, I guess, picks up the foul there, the early reach in. We head to the media timeout, 41-31. NIU on top, back in a moment. It's Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Fifteen forty-three is left here in the second half from Oxford, Ohio. 41-31 NIU over Miami. Patrick Eshin back with you on Red Hawk Radio. It has been a commanding performance for NIU in this game so far. They're winning all the physical battles, getting the shots to go. Huskies are 44% for the field in the game. 
today. The Red Hawks are 37.9%. NIU with the ball in their offensive end after the timeout. Crump with it in the paint. Mac Logo, he is stripped away by Coleman Lands. It goes out of bounds off the Red Hawks. No foul. It's Crump right in the post. Coleman Lands just got the ball free and threw it out of bounds. Our side of the baseline. The inbound comes here from Caleb Thornton. Before that, though, a whistle and a foul here against the Huskies. This is going back to the Red Hawks. They got Crump for contact in the paint area. He was going hard with McNamara, and Crump ends up being the one that receives the call. You have Jamin Etzler in the game now for the Red Hawks, making his first appearance of the year. He's got a brace on his right knee. He had an injury issue, so Etzler's in the game. Far away with it is Coleman Lance. Left side of the paint here, McNamara. McNamara working on O'Connor. Back to the hoop. McNamara left side of the paint. Takes it out. The pass picked off there by Hankers to try to go outside the arc. And a breakaway layup. Up ahead, Caleb Thornton. The finish up the right side for the Huskies. They have a 43-31 lead. 15 to go here in the second half. Top of the key is... That's Lur here, gets it near way, right side of the paint. Larry charged it, takes it back out. McNamara top of the key, Etzler, left wing, Coleman lands. Right side, three ball, Larry gets it to go, and Mikai Larry with his first three-point attempt of the night, first main three-pointer of the night. Red Hawks are now just two for 10 from three-point land. 43-34 NIU, Thornton gets it down to the far corner. Crump holds on both arms, three ball off, short. Rebound of Mikai Larry, gets it in both hands. Over the timeline on the right wing is Larry. Left hand to dribble, gets it top of the key to Maje White. White holds on here, pass near wing. Larry holds it above his head, top of the key for Coleman Lance. Far side, Maje White, and it goes out of bounds. On a pass, trying to go near side of the baseline with 14 15 to go in the second. And you get Coleman Lance here, ready to inbound near side of the baseline for the Red Hawks. He will toss it in near corner is Larry. Around the arc here on the near wing. Gets it near side. McNamara, jumper is short. This one tipped around. NIU gets it back. Thornton trips up on his own. Trying to go through half court. Never mind. They said a foul on McNamara. You know, that's okay. That's really confusing to me because Thornton tripped up on his own for NIU. McNamara was the closest guy to him. I don't think McNamara made contact. Maybe he did. Etzler was a few feet away, so I think they got the wrong guy in the foul, but nevertheless, Etzler's whistled for it. You got a 43-34 NIU lead with 14 minutes left here in the second half. Near wing outside the arc are the Huskies. Thornton, top of the key look here for Queth. Thornton around the arc in the far wing. Gets it there for Keyshawn Williams. Top of the key, Williams. Left-handed dribble, he'll fire off a free throw line jumper. That one too far left. Rebound here to Larry. Over the timeline of the left wing, far side, three ball, Coleman lands, too hard, and a little bit left. Man, the three-pointers for the Red Hawks just not working, they're two for 11 from outside the arc today. Top of the key, the ball stripped away from Hankerson for NIU, it goes out off of him on the near wing. Good strip there by the Red Hawks, it was Etzler who got his hand in. And Etzler to the near sideline to inbound here for Miami. You have 13.29 to go in the second. 11 point, or sorry, a nine point lead for Red IU at 43-34. Coleman Lance, far away top of the key now for the Red Hawks. Gets it to Wetzler on the left side, outside the arc. Near wing now, right side is White. Gets it near corner, three ball. Coleman Lance sinks it. And Isaiah Coleman Lance finally makes it three. First time he's done that in four attempts. Timeout, NIU. Is the Red Hawks all of a sudden on a 6 0 run in the last two minutes and one second? Turns into a media timeout here with 13 11 to go in the second. NIU 43, Miami 37. We got a game now inside Millette. Stay with us. Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
13-11 to go here in the second, 43-37, the NIU lead over Miami. The inbound out of her timeout, it's gonna come from the near side of the NIU end. Thornton will carry it over the timeline here on the right wing for the Huskies. Gets it top of the key to Zul Queth. He's Sean Williams, a right-handed dribble top of the key for NIU. Means it far away for Caleb Thornton. Puts it above his head, Thornton cuts it past near side of Williams, three ball is good for Keyshawn Williams. And IU back to their ways, shooting three pointers and making up 46-37 Huskies. Larry near wing for Retzler, top of the key, Coleman lands far side, back to Larry on the left wing. Cuts through the paint, Larry near wing, Etzler a wide open chance and a three is good, Jalen Etzler. His first bucket of the season, first appearance of the year for Retzler, six point game. 12.23 to go in the second. Williams gets it far side, Thornton to the right elbow. Here's Williams, spin around off the glass, it in. Nice bucket there, NIU answers, they're up by eight. Larry over the timeline here on the right side, gets it for Retzler, top of the key, far away is Coleman Lance. Back for Retzler up top, near away is Mekhi Larry. Gets to the baseline, up and under, move with the left arm and good, Mekhi Larry. A beautiful shot there. Great way to fight his way into the hoop. Thornton with it now for NIU over the timeline of the left way. He'll cut to the right side, through the paint. Thornton, a left-handed sneaky layup there is good for Caleb Thornton. 11.40 left here in the second. Back to an eight-point NIU lead. Metzler top of the key, Majay White, far away for Precious Aya. Outside the arc here on the far side, top of the key with it, Majay White. Near wing is Coleman Lance. Top of the key, he's got it. Near wing, right side, Etzler a three, too far right. Rebound is grabbed here by NIU, O'Connor won it. Up for Hankerson over the timeline here on the right wing, now it's Thornton. Thornton cutting to the middle, free throw line, left elbow. This is back far side, three-pointer is good for the far wing by Keyshawn Williams. Right in front of the Husky bench. Very over the timeline here on the left side for the Red Hawks, get a whistle, timeout, Jack Owens has had it off. That'll be immediate timeout here with 10.58 to go in the second half, NIU bench that's fired up. They like what they are seeing here tonight so far as the Huskies now on a 5-0 run in the last minute and three seconds, just like that. 10.58 is left here in the second half. Huskies now take an 11 point lead, 53-42 over the Miami Red Hawks. This is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
10.58 to go here in the second. 53-42 NIU over the Miami Red Hawks. There's a 5-0 run as we headed to the break. NIU is on right now, the last minute, two seconds. Patrick Getschen with you from Miami University. And a far wing inbound here for the Red Hawks in their offensive end. It's Coleman Lance to toss it to Larry, top of the key for Miami. Far side, Coleman Lance holds on with both arms. Top of the key where when the ball is stayed at Grant. Grant far wing Etzler, left side outside the arc with 11 to shoot. Coleman Lance, far side outside the arc, caught it up through the middle, picked up here, the loose ball on the floor by McCoy. And on the timeline right away comes Williams. Hands off to Zion Russell. Let it go back for Keyshawn Williams, top of the key, trended Hankerson. The wing pass here, Russell gets it left side of the post. McCoy working on Delonte Brown, the up and under move, and it's good by Adon McCoy. 55-42, the Huskies lead up by 13. Far side outside the arc, Red Hawks with it. Coleman Lance, tosses far corner. Grant, left side of the post. It is Delonte Brown working there. He tried to go up for a left side of the post shot. Too hard off the iron. Crump over the timeline, right wing for NIU. He'll dish far wing. Hankerson comes away with the right elbow. McCoy, top of the key. Near wing, Russell holds on to it. Free throw line, kicks to near wing, Williams to the baseline, right-handed dribble, Williams down low, McCoy the two-handed slam, he got away from Delonte Brown, and a foul. And uh, you bet you on their feet going crazy, as they should. And a chance for a three-point play here. McCoy to the line with NIU up 57-42. 9.44 left in the second half. First free throw by Don McCoy is good. Never mind, he missed it too far right, I'm sorry. It popped in and out, spoke too soon. Grand far away to Larry, top of the key to Lante Brown. 9.35 to go here in the second half. Right to the far away. Here in the corner, Precious Sia up and under. He can't get it to go, didn't bounce in his way. Larry though picks it off of the offensive rebound. He'll pull up free throw line. And that jumper's good, Makai Larry. Red Hawks now trail by 13 with 9.16 to go in the second half. Russell with it for NIU. Over the timeline here, middle of the floor, Zion Russell. Gets it top of the key, works it around the arc. Russell hands off, here's Hankerson. Back up top for Williams. The near wing outside the arc, Russell gets it left elbow. Here's McCoy, spin around on Aya, and McCoy with the right-handed shot is good. The Red Hawks are dominated in the post in this game. 59-44 NIU. Red Hawks with it here. Down the left side of the paint, Dana Grant is fouled, trying to drive in. Crump picks it up for the Huskies and for Crump. And it's his third personal of the game. Inbound comes far side of the baseline here for the Red Hawks. To the corner goes Delonte Brown with three after the inbound feed for Dana Grant. It's good. 59 46, Huskies lead it. Red Hawks are now three for four in their last three pointers. Russell with a right wing for NIU, driving in right elbow off the window. Too much on that, but a foul whistle here on the Red Hawks. Shot did not go in, but you got shots at the line for Zion Russell of Northern Illinois. Freshman from Upper Marlboro, Maryland. So Russell here with a couple of free throws at the line with 8.25 to go in the second. First one is short. And a 13 point game. Larry's coming out. It looks like we got Mara Vots coming in for Miami. As Russell here will fire off another free throw at the line. Good. So it's 60 46. Russell's out for NIU, who will lead this game. Looks like they brought Trenton Hankerson back in 
Far corner with the inbound is Danny Grant from Miami, trying to come out of his own end. Grant's over the timeline here on the left wing with 8.16 to go in the second half. Top of the key, Ayat to the near wing for Coleman Lance. Left hand to dribble, gets it to the far side. Aya finds Avance, left wing outside the arc. In there for Coleman Lance, right side of the paint is Aya, right side of the elbow. Avance floats it up, no good. Rebound, Daglate. Brown works for the end one. The shot there just went off the side of the rim and never bounced in on the initial play by Avance. And then Brown right there to clean it up and finish. And he'll have a chance at a three-point play with 7.58 to go here in the second half on the foul by Northern Illinois. And it was two. NIU to make it their seventh as a team here in the second half. 12-point advantage for the Huskies. We're back in a moment. This is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. remains, second half, Delonte Brown trying to complete the three-point play here at the line for Miami. First free throw short, and the only one by Brown. So it stays a 12-point lead for NIU. Over the timeline near wing is Thornton for the Huskies. Makes it over up high on the right side. Thornton here working on Maravant, stays in the game for the Red Hawks after the timeout. Thornton around the arc near wing, guns a pass near corner, three ball, Williams, too much on that. It's poked out top of the key, with it here is Thornton. Through the paint for NIU, the pass right side, it's an offensive foul, Thornton a charge. As he knocked over Precious Aya. First foul against Thornton in the game for NIU, 7.29 to go here in the second half, 60-48, Huskies lead it. Coleman lands the inbound here to Avance, returns it back to Coleman Lance. Over the timeline, middle of the floor. On the left hand, a dribble. Means a far wing outside the arc. Dana Grant to the corner. Up top, left wing. Three ball, Brown got it to go. Alante Brown gets the three ball in as Krupp was guarding him. 60 51 NIU. Krupp over the timeline here on the left wing for the Huskies. Give and go pass with Thornton. Wing outside the arc, Keyshawn Williams. To the far side, Thornton. Right wing outside the arc, Hankerson. Whistle here. I believe we got a foul on Miami. 
Precious Aya gets his second. Something happened away for the play. You get Thornton to win by near the baseline for NIU. Quick throw on the far side. 18 to shoot for the Huskies here. 650 left in the second. And then NIU up by nine. Okanu left elbow with it is Williams. Then we get a whistle here. This is going back the other way. Offensive foul on NIU. That's their ninth as a team here in the second half. And Williams got his first. So the Red Hawks return down the floor in a 60-51 game. Over the timeline, left away comes Avance with it here. Shovel pass, Brown swoops in, gets it, past the near corner, saved it, Coleman Lance threw it in the air. NIU with it, down the left way, corrupt the layup. He's blocked by Precious Aya. From behind, Red Hawks up the floor, far away Brown. Gets it back to Avance, that's broken up by Krupp, goes out of bounds the far sideline. And it's gonna stay with Miami as Aya walks back from the other end of the floor, limping a little bit, but he wants to stay in. What a block by Brown coming back the other way. Or I'm sorry, Precious Aya. That's Precious Aya coming back in. Tough the key with it is Avance here, 6.13 to go in the second. Nine point lead in NIU. Far away is Dana Grant, off the key with it. Left point pass, three ball on the way. Too much there for Delonte Brown. Rebound pops out. Hankerson with it for NIU. Over the timeline here on the left wing. Hankerson the right hand to dribble. Outside the arc, Hankerson through the paint. Kicks it over far corner. Krupp is on it here for the Huskies. 16 to shoot. Krupp right handed shot. Too much on that with Delonte Brown shadowing him. Rebound to the Red Hawks. Over the timeline near wing. Coleman Lance gets it to the top of the key for Precious Aya. 5.38 to go in the second half. Aya gets it outside the arc. Here's Dana Grant with the ball on the right elbow. To the right side of the paint. Delonte Brown with it, 10 to shoot. Brown left-handed dribble, working to the back logo. Brown off the glass, too much on that. Rebound is in the post. Red Hawks win it back. Grant, top of the key. Coleman lands a three, that's too hard. And the rebound here to Crump. Miami. On a 5-0 run line right now for the last three minutes and eight seconds, but they're also scoreless in the last two minutes. Top of the key with it, Williams here for the Huskies. Works it over on the far side. Right side of the paint. It is O'Connor working, right-handed hook shot. Good by O'Connor. 4.50 left here in the second. 62-51, Avance over the timeline on the left wing for the Red Hawks. He will take it outside the arc here. Avance, top of the key around the arc. Gets it over on the far side. Coleman lands back to Avance. Miami trailing 62-51 with four and a half to go in the second. Grant near wing outside the arc, floats it in. Brown with a catch in the post and a finish. With a right arm off the glass for two. Thornton back up the floor for NIU over the timeline here on the right wing. 4.15 to go in the second. 62-53 Huskies. Orton hands back, Hankerson, top of the key now, Williams. Here wing outside the arc, Caleb Thornton, back up top of the key, Okano. Thornton, left handed dribble, copped it up, goes back though to him, Thornton to the far corner, four to shoot, three pointers good, Sean Williams. Who came into the game, 36% from outside the arc of the year. 345 to go in the second, 65-53 Huskies. Here's Brown near wing inside the arc. Waiting patiently. Gets it through the paint. Step back jumper. Good with a foul. And one. Delonte Brown. 10 point NIU lead. We'll have a media timeout. The last one of the game with 335 to go in the second. Back and forth they go inside Millette. Still a 10 point lead for the Huskies. Can Miami try to come back in this one? We're back in a moment. Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
235 to go here in the second. 65-55 NIU over Miami. And at the line is Delonte Bromper. Some shots here for the Red Hawks. First one is good. The only free throw to complete is three-point play. So, 65-56, NIU over Miami. And here come the Huskies going back up the floor. We had a whistle for a foul as Coleman Lands got in the way of Keyshawn Williams. 3.31 to go here in the second. Williams will be at the free throw line for the Huskies here. They'll fire off some shots. One and one. First one by Williams is good. We got a whistle though for a foul. During the free throw. I don't know if the Red Hawks got a lane violation or what. Yeah, they did. I think the Red Sorry, I'm confused. What's going on? Miami's going to get the ball here. They're going to inbound it. So I don't know. Maybe it was an NIU lane violation. And maybe that's the case. Red Hawks are going to pick it up here. Far side of their baseline. They'll inbound it. Makai Larry. There's a Coleman Lance foul that got us to that play with the free throws. It was a lane violation on NIU. So Larry with the top of the key for Miami. He will dribble here with 3.16 to go in the second. He the right side of the paint. Spin around play. Delonte Brown working in the post. His shot too far right goes out of bounds. Off Brown's hand on the rebound. The ball headed back to NIU. <laughs> That will be an inbound here for Caleb Thornton of the Huskies. Thornton sends it into the far side. Looking to go to Hankerson. And it's picked off as he moved up the floor. Larry to the rack, left side, no good. Rebound, put back to it. Grant couldn't get it. Whistle for a foul on Miami. So the Red Hawks, a little press there. They get the turnover as NIU is trying to play it down the floor. Two shots could not go for the Red Hawks in front of their offensive hoop. And the Huskies now will shoot one and one free throws here with that being deep foul number eight on the Red Hawks as contact in the area of the play. Larry got the steal, the foul. I'm not sure who that was against. We'll check on that. But you got Queth at the line here for NIU shooting free throws. The Pratt Community College transfer out of Gallatin, Tennessee. And the first one by Queth. The one and one too hard. Rebound Danny Grant has it for the Red Hawks. He's over the timeline here on the right wing. It's a far side of Coleman Lance. Delonte Brown left side of the paint. Working here with his back to the hoop. Kicks it up top of the key. Makai Larry through the middle off the glass. Too hard, but a foul is whistled. As you had Thornton there, get out of the way for NIU. So we have to wipe the floor off here as Thornton was basically going behind the court and that's where his momentum took him out of the arena almost. And you got two shots here at the line for Makai Larry, 244 to go in the second. So it's good for Makai to make it 65-57 NIU. O'Connor back it for the Huskies. They take out Zul Queth. Larry will shoot free throws here. One more. Drive him out. 65-58 NIU is the second one. Goodbye, Larry. And the Huskies here working up the floor. 2.40 left here in the second half. Far wing is Thornton. Gets a near side, Hankerson. Back over Thornton on the right wing. In the corner, Williams. Takes it outside the arch. On the right side, Williams through the paint. Spin around, jumper, free throw line. Gets it to go. Keyshawn Williams showing off. He's got 17 in the game. 67-58, back to a nine point game, Larry. Far side, Coleman lands. Left side, outside the arc. 2.12 to go here in the half. Coleman lands to the free throw line. Sends it out up top. Larry with it at half court for the Red Hawks. 
He's at the top of the key. 10 on the shot clock. Larry step back jumper. Free throw line. That's good. And off the front of the rim of the trickle through from Makai Larry. And the Huskies with it here in the near corner. Thornton tosses right side. That was Hankerson back to Thornton left wing. On the right side is Keyshawn Williams. 145 to go in the second. NIU leads it by seven. Williams here outside the arc. Top of the key for NIU with a left-handed dribble. Line to shoot, 133 to go in the game. Right elbow with it, Williams spin around, jumper, free throw line is good, Keyshawn Williams now with 19 points. He's seven for 12 for the field. Near wing there is Coleman Lance, Larry right elbow, down low left side of the post, good for two, Dana Grant. And a timeout is called by the Red Hawks. 17 to go here in the second. So now it's a 69-62 NIU lead after these last few buckets by the Red Hawks. And Miami and Mikhail Larry, he's hot. Five for six in his last six field goals in the game for the Huskies. For the Red Hawks, I should say, against the Huskies. And you got 117 to go here in the second half. One timeout left for the Red Hawks. Two timeouts remain for NIU. You have 10 fouls for the Huskies. Eight fouls for the Red Hawks. Inbound will come on the far side of the baseline here in the NIU end of things. Huskies trying to find a way to win more games. They've won two of their last three. And they've been good as of late. It was some pretty key victories. Ankerson sends it in. Caught by Crump. Back for Ankerson, right wing. Fast break, room to move. They'll let the breaks up high on the right side of the NIU offensive end. And a foul there by Dana Grant coming in from behind on Trenton Ankerson. So 111 to go here in the second. It's 69 62 NIU. And Ankerson will shoot off a free throw here for the Huskies. That's now the ninth team foul against the Red Hawks. Free throw is good. First one out of the one and one for Ankerson. Next one good as well. 71-62. From the timeline, left wing is Larry to the far wing here for Dana Grant. Outside the arc, he'll fire up the three. Good for Dana Grant. No, no, it's the six point game. 71 65 Huskies, 103 to go in the second. And uh, you will call their second to last time out of the game. They have one left. So again, 103 remains here in the second. It's been a pretty good offensive streak for both of these teams these last few minutes. Red Hawks are three for four in their last four field goals. Huskies are four for five in their last five. Larry's five for six in his last six field goals. Danny Grant three for four in his last four goals to those players for the Red Hawks. Eshawn Williams hot for NIU, so is Hankerson. Of course, Keyshawn Williams leads all scores in this game for NIU with 19. You have three Huskies in double figures. Williams is 19. Ankerson is 16. Thornton has 14. And for Miami, Delonte Brown with 16 points. Larry has 15. 14 for Dana Grant. So it's been scoring by committee today for both of these teams. And those are good signs for both teams, of course. So again, you have no more time. I am sorry, I thought NIU called that timeout. I guess Miami did. So Miami has no more timeouts left. NIU has two. You have one minute, three seconds left in the second half. 71-65, the Huskies lead it. They're gonna inbound the Huskies well for their own baseline. Krupp sends it in, whistle. And this is a foul here on NIU. They got Krupp. I think NIU wants to call a timeout. I don't know if they're able to right now for whatever reason. Miami's getting inbound on their offensive side here on the floor. 
And a referee over on the scorer's table. NIU bench is fired up about something. Larry will send it in for the far side of the baseline here for the Red Hawks. He will inbound it into the paint area. Aya near way. Coleman lands in a six point game. Dede Grant top of the key three. Too hard. You have Grant coming down to the rebound and a foul. Hold on. NIU, Hankerson reached in on Grant outside the arc of the near wing. Two shots are coming up. Dana Grant will shoot a pair. And the first one for Dana is good. 71 to 66 down the score. Grant with another free throw here can make it a four point game. Hands up, hands up. Good. 71 67 NIU, the free throw made there. And on the far side of the baseline, the Huskies here will inbound it from their own end as Crump will fling it in. Anthony Krupp waiting, looking for options. Bounces this one into Keyshawn Williams. He's locked up with Delonte Brown and Larry. They strip it free, the Red Hawks do. Larry at the baseline, 47 seconds left. Brown trying to pass it, tipped in the air. Larry catches it. Far away, caught here by YJ White. He's brought to the floor. A blocking foul is called as Thornton went down too. So now a double bonus for both teams. And you got two free throws at the line here for the Red Hawks. They could try to make it a two point game. YJ White to the line. He's a 71.4% free throw shooter. First one good from IJ White. Redshirt Jr. from Terre Haute, Indiana. IJ White, 42.7 seconds left. Three point game. Next free throw is short and it goes in. It bounced over the rim. Two point lead for NIU, 71 69. And just like the women's game. The Red Hawks making a comeback here, but unlike the women's team for Miami, can they pull through? Trump for NIU inbounds to Thornton. 40 seconds left. Thornton trouble out of his own end. Feeds a far wing. Williams is fouled there by Mikhail Larry. He reached in, made contact. Mikhail Larry picks up his fourth personal. That's his fourth. And then Brown is getting, or sorry, we have free throws here. Of course, double bonus for each side. 38.1 seconds left. And you are going to get Williams at the line, the game's leading scorer with 19 tonight. First trip to the line this evening or this afternoon for Keyshawn Williams. First free throw on the way. Good. Williams a 78% free throw shooter on the year. Three point NIU lead to possession game if he makes this one and he does. Williams sinks it. Four point Husky lead, 38.1 seconds left. Brown will inbound to Mikhail Larry. The clock stops or starts. Larry with the timeline here on the right wing. Gets it down the right side of the post, went in. Blocked from behind there by Okanu. Goes out of bounds near corner. It's gonna go back to Miami. As Okanu came in and prevented two points there from Larry. Came in and swatted the ball out from behind. Okay? Inbound will come here near sideline for Miami. Their offensive end, Coleman Lanz, are gonna toss it in. 28.7 to go. 20 on the shot clock, finds Larry right wing. Near side is Coleman lands in a four point game. Miami trails, high up free throw line, top of the key, Grant, three ball, good for Tane Grant. Two point, or they say two pointer, Never mind. two point game, 73-71 in IU. Shot clock is off, 20 seconds left, whistle for a foul on Miami. Dana Grant whistled away from the ball, Keyshawn Williams 
was the one contacted. And that came before the ball was even inbounded. And now Williams at the line for NIU with two free throws, a chance to make it a two possession game again. With 20.1 seconds left in the second half. And you'll have Williams who just went to the line for NIU. He was two for two in that last trip. Hands make a noise. First one good. Make it a three point game. Keyshawn Williams, the sophomore from Chicago Heights, Illinois. Next free throw, Keyshawn Williams. Is short, rebound down with it to Lante Brown. Feeds it up for Larry over the timeline here on the left point for the Red Hawks. 13 seconds left. Miami trails by three. Brown, three pointer, top of the key is good to tie the game. 10 seconds left, whistle for a timeout, NIU. This game is tied at 74, and the crowd on their feet inside the Lent Hall. They got it to Brown, and his three-pointer went in, nothing but net. The Red Hawks three ball has not been working at all today, except for when they've really needed it. Year late in the game, Miami now seven for 20 from outside the arc. And this one today, NIU is nine for 17. So we're tied at 74 with 10.2 to go. If Williams makes that second free throw in that last strip to the line for NIU, we got a different story here, but he missed it to keep it a one possession game. Three point contest here. Tied now after Brown made that three pointer. Ten, they put one tenth of a second back of the clock. 10.5 to go here in the second half. Again, both teams the double bonus. NIU has one timeout left. Miami has no timeouts. And the Huskies here, if all goes well, as the Red Hawks have been putting together this full court press. Last few minutes of this game, it's been very effective for NIU when they've tried to win down the ball. Huskies will have a shot here, getting the last shot. And one timeout in their pocket if they don't like what they see. Again, 10 and a half seconds to go in the second. Timeouts break up. And we're gonna see the inbound here from NIU at their own baseline far side. Anthony Crump was gonna toss it in for the Huskies. Whistle blows, Red Hawks man-to-man -man defense. Thornton gets the inbound, now Miami backs up to the defensive end, five to go. Thornton, near wing, hits the brakes, two seconds left, Thornton left side of the post, cuts it up, whistle here. It is gonna be a jump ball. The possession arrow with NIU with half a second to go. As the ball was taken down the left side of the paint, and then it was coughed up there by Williams. He had a tussle for it on the floor. They called a jump ball. We get a whistle here before the inbound. I believe they're going to have to review to think about more time on the clock, and they will. So both teams will go over to their benches. The clock reads 0.5 seconds left. I'm going to imagine they do have to add more time on. So with the possession arrow with NIU, it means the Huskies will get the inbound here and maybe a chance to quickly inbound and score in a tie game at 74 here in the second. Miami trying to get something out of this hoops doubleheader today. The women were unsuccessful in winning their game against the Western Michigan Broncos. And the Miami men's team now trying to grab a win. Get something out of it. Crowd on their feet here inside Millette Hall. It should be an exciting finish. They had two tenths of a second back on the clock. So there's 0 0.7 seconds left here in the second. Tied at 74, inbound far side of the Husky offensive baseline. Thornton sends it in. Hankerson, step back, jumper, missed too far right. And we're going to overtime in Millette.
74 all here as we end regulation from Oxford, Ohio. The quick pass to the far side of the corner. He had Hankerson stepping back with a wide open jumper, but he missed it a little bit short, too far right. So we stay tied at 74. Five minutes will go on the clock here for our overtime period from the Lett Hall. Fans are on their feet. They've been treated to a really good game here. The largest lead for NIU, by the way, was 15 points. That came in the second half with 8.44 to go in it. And you got to give credit to Miami for coming back in that time, continuing to fight their way through, fight their way forward and make this a game and eventually tie it up. And you have to give credit to Delonte Brown of the Red Hawks who made that three-pointer with less than a minute to go to tie this one up at 74 after it was a three-point Husky lead at 74-71. So this tie game is gonna put us again to overtime. That's gonna start here as the huddles break up. A little extra basketball for you. The Red Hot Tunnel, we're waiting for that right now. See who Miami throws out on the floor as they await the tip here at half court. Miami's gonna move left to right across your radio here in our overtime period. Team switch sides from the second half. NIU sets to half court. The Don McCoy for the inbound. Delonte Brown will stand across from him. Brown won the tip off to open the game against McCoy. They throw it up and McCoy, the clean win this time to get us underway in the overtime. Thornton got the ball for NIU over the timeline here on the right wing. Pass to the near side for Anthony Crump. Crump holds on, feeds it over there for McCoy, holds it above his head, near wing Hankerson. Thought about a three, holds on to it. 13 to go on the shot clock. Hankerson takes it over far wing outside the arc. Williams, the right-handed dribble here for NIU. Six to shoot, Williams, three ball off, good. Keyshawn Williams with 25 points of the game. Starts the overtime out to give the Huskies a 77-74 lead. Our side is white, top of the key, Makai Larry outside the arc for the Red Hawks. Forward Delonte Brown, right side. He'll fire off a three of his own, and that's good, Delonte Brown. Never mind, they say two. He was standing right on the line. So it stays a one point NIU lead here, 77-76. 4.02 to go in the second half. Thornton holds on to the ball, top of the key for NIU, around the arc here on the right wing. Thornton, the left-handed dribble, kicks it far side. Hankerson, three ball, too strong from the right wing and the rebound corralled here by Mijay White. They're playing over to Kai Larry over the timeline here on the right wing for the Red Hawks. Larry hits the brakes, top of the key, White, far away for Precious Aya here on the left side for Miami. Aya gives it off for Larry, right-handed dribble Larry through the Mac logo, he'll step back with a chopper, that's good. And Miami on top, 78-77, with 3.25 to go here in the overtime. Towards it over the timeline, right wing for NIU. Crowd likes what they see. Crump to the near wing, outside the arc, Keyshawn Williams with it. He'll step back outside the arc here at the top of the key with 15 on the shot clock, Williams. Down to the baseline with it, here's McCoy working on Precious Sia, spin around, hook shot, in and out of the hoop. And the Red Hawks with it here in the near wing. They have the rebound over the timeline right wing is Dana Grant. Mijay White, far side for Aya, 20 to shoot. Larry top of the key, Mijay White holds on, far side outside the arc, Brown. Top of the key, Larry in the arc and back out. Larry the left-handed dribble, he tripped up on Hankerson, whistle there for a foul. Hankerson let Larry go to the floor, kind of got his feet there. And so we will get a timeout, or a, no timeout I guess, we get free throws actually here for Larry. Like Jack Owens maybe wanted a timeout there for the Red Hawks, but instead we will play on. So Makai Larry in this game is four for four from the line. And the first shot is up and good. 
Two point Red Hawk lead at 79 77. 241 to go in the second half. Larry ready to shoot another one. Also good for Mackay. Huskies inbound here. Thornton gets it. 80 77, the Red Hawk lead here in the halfway mark of the overtime. With the timeline left wing, Thornton down the lane, through the middle off the glass, it hung there for a second, never went in. Grant far away from Miami with it here. Plays it middle, Larry over the timeline. Even go with MyJ White, now it's Grant left wing to the far side, but Kyle Larry holds on. Grant top of the key to the near wing from MyJ White. Back for Grant up top, holds on with both arms, 2.10 to go here in the second. Larry the left-handed dribble around the arc. Left side of the paint. Larry to the rack. He was blocked. Clean block there by Hankerson. Crump over the timeline. Right wing for NIU. He's the top of the key. Thornton. Near wing. Hankerson with 20 to shoot. Hankerson outside the arc near wing. Gets off a three ball. Too far right. And the rebound picked up here by Maise White. The Red Hawks hold on to the three-point lead with 142 to go in the second half. It's Larry over the timeline, middle of the floor for Miami. Larry here dribbling between his left and right arm, right on the big red M at half court. Larry will play this one far side, Dana Grant holds on with both arms. Grant guns it down far corner, Aya working here, whistle for a charge. On precious side, he knocked over Trump. That's been a post battle all afternoon long. At that time, Aya comes up on the losing end for the Red Hawks. And the inbound to the far side of the baseline here for NIU in their own end. Crump will toss it in with a buck 22 to go in this overtime period. Miami up by three. NIU's three ball has been working really well tonight. They're 10 for 19. And they get one in here at a critical time of the game. Ankerson near wing, thought about it. Outside the arc, now it's in the paint area. Spin around, play off the glass, and in for two with Don McCoy. 102 to go in the second. Now makes it a one point Red Hawk lead with a minute to go. Larry over the timeline, middle of the floor. Gets it far away here for Dana Grant. Top of the key with it, Makai Larry with 50 seconds to go here in the second half. 80 79, the Miami lead. Larry top of the key around the arc of the far wing. Larry pull up jumper. Mac Logo is good for Mackay. 82 79 Miami. 40 seconds left in the overtime. NIU over the timeline of the right wing. Thornton gets over the timeline. And the NIU bench. And Rashawn Burno call a timeout. It's 36.7 seconds left. And Makai Larry's shot there makes him the 37th player in Miami basketball history to get to 1,000 career points. Larry now is in a 1,000 point club for the Red Hawks. He came in eating 21 tonight to get to that mark. He now has 21 points. So a great shot there for Larry, not only timely to get Miami, of course, with a bigger lead here at three points, but congrats to Mikai Larry, now a member of the 1,000th point club. And again, the 37th member of Miami's basketball program to get there. Red Hawks up by three, 36.7 left here in the second half. NIU has one timeout left. The Red Hawks have one timeout left. I beg your part, we're in overtime about the second half. They never changed it on the scoreboard. So I'm sorry, we're in overtime. 36.7 to go in it. NIU here will drop some offensive plays in their huddle. They're gonna inbound on their offensive end of the floor. There's 26 on the shot clock for the Huskies. Red Hawks have lost three of their last four. They'd like to keep going with the momentum here this afternoon in that department. NIU has won two of their last three. They would like to keep their winning ways. Red Hawks like to win their losing ways. 
here this afternoon. Big Mac game for either team. NIU came in sixth in the league, Red Hawks seventh in the league. They would both like to just climb their way in the standings. As we hit the home stretch of the basketball season here. So the inbound is going to come for NIU right in front of their bench on the far wing. At the sideline, 36.7 seconds left here in the overtime period. Caleb Thornton will toss it in top of the key. Give and go with Corrupt back for Thornton up high for NIU to the far wing for Hankerson. 30 seconds left, 18 to shoot. A corner look now. Williams gets it for three. And NIU is tied it at 82. Step back, fade away, three by Williams. Larry here. Over the timeline, middle of the floor, left-handed dribble. The shot clock is off. Red Hawks are going to look here to win the game. It's tied at 82 with nine seconds left in the overtime. Can Larry do more magic? Larry with it up high, guarded there by McCoy. Near corner, Brown at the buzzer. Got it! Red Hawks win it in an overtime thriller from Millet. Delonte Brown with a three-pointer. I think we're going to have more time on the clock. It was at the buzzer, but maybe a few tenths of a second left potentially. Maybe that ball went in before the clock expired. I don't know. Referees are going to look at it. Either way, that's a shot that gives Miami the lead. You might have a few tenths of a second put up. The other factor to this was Brown on the arc or not. Where was he when he shot the ball? Hard for me to see with the patron sitting courtside here whether he was behind the arc or not. They put a three-pointer up on the scoreboard, so I guess he was behind the arc to make it 85-82 Miami. How much time is on the clock, though? They say eight-tenths of a second. So when I use eight-tenths of a second here to win down this ball, and maybe fire a shot to try and tie the game. Either way, Delonte Brown with a clutch shot there for the Red Hawks. So the inbound is going to come near side of the baseline for NIU and their own end of the floor. A long huddle here at the NIU bench with their head coach, Rashawn Bruno, in his first season. Trying to coach this young Huskies team. 70% of the players in their roster are transfers. Huskies came in 5-9 overall in the year. This will be a really tough one for them to drop after they had a 15-point lead late in the second half. 85-82 Miami. The inbound will come from Krupp in the Husky end near side of the baseline. Eight tenths of a second to go. Krupp on the far side. Inbounds into Thornton. And not enough time for a shot. And the Miami Red Hawks take the game 85 82 in overtime on the Delonte Brown three pointer with eight tenths of a second to go. What a thrilling win for Miami here this afternoon inside the Lead Hall. A season changing win potentially. The Red Hawks needed this badly after dropping three of their last four. After playing so bad against Ohio on Tuesday. They bounce back, they fight back, they climb back after it looked like this game might be a lost cause for the Red Hawks. And they win it 85-82 in overtime here this afternoon from Lett Hall. The Red Hawks go one and one between the men's and women's basketball doubleheader here on this Saturday from Lett. Delonte Brown is the leading scorer in this game for the Red Hawks. He had 24 points here this afternoon to give Miami the win, or to help give them the win. There are three Red Hawks in double figures. Brown at 24, Larry at 21, Danny Grant at 18 points. And for NIU, they had four players in double figures. He had Williams, who had 28. That's a big total for Keyshawn Williams, who leads the team in points per game. He was averaging 14.8 this year. So, of course, he got 28. Ankerson got 16 for the Huskies, 11 points for McCoy, and 14 for NIU's Caleb Thornton for the Huskies to fall in this game again, 85-81, as Miami pulls out this thrilling, exciting matchup here tonight in Oxford, Ohio.
So Miami, next game will be Tuesday at Ball State. That is going to be a seven o'clock start. They're on the road next Saturday as well in Eastern Michigan. That game will start at three, and then Miami back home a week from Tuesday is their next home game against Kent State. That'll be a seven o'clock start against the Golden Flashes from Millette for the Red Hawks. NIU is at Ohio on Tuesday, and then they're gonna play Thursday at home against Ball State. That's a rescheduled game. And then Saturday will take on Central Michigan. The Huskies will at home back in DeKalb a week from today. Again, 85-82, the win for the Red Hawks. They take it in overtime. What a thrilling game we saw this afternoon here inside Millette Hall. Patrick Eschen saying so long and good afternoon here for Oxford, Ohio. We thank you for tuning in to our double header here today. And I know everybody's going home to watch the Bengals. That's what's going on here. They are all rushing out of Millette. So we'll let you go back to that. 85-82, Red Hawks winner. Thanks again for listening to this presentation of Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio.